stream update settings start video trip i think we're live i think we are live i don't know why i clapped my head i meant to clap my hands but that's okay just a little bit excited because today we're playing something different let me make sure my stream's like actually up because you know i think it'd be cool if you guys could like watch the stream otherwise what's the point a we're live my audio good what up, Dominus Rex? A hey, nice Roblox reference. What up, everybody? D Man, Iona, Pokoy, Nathan, Audio Visual. How's it going, bro? Volcano, Monkey, Millie, Mega, Mr. Cat. A lot, a lot of M names in chat. Tanjiros, Ahmad, Robotop Games, Michael is a meme boy, Kingsley, Zach, Purple Guy. <gasps> Any of y'all watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie yet? Anybody see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie in the theaters? Or on Peacock, I guess it's there. Sleepy! Hi. Dynamite Jacob. Gold. Gold Mijulkin. PA3 Rocks. I ain't gonna finish your name, bruh. Owen. Family Plushy. Geography and Memes. Amir. Nathan. Alright, I think we said how do you, Nathan? I think. That's okay though. Fox Tech. Tonto. Squish Boy. How's everybody doing today? How is everybody doing on this fine. What is it today? On this fine Tuesday, how's everybody doing? I finally verified stereo extremeness, so now I can just chillax and play something a little different. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying this level called Lunatic Doom Machine. I think this level is really cool, and I thought this was like a super, like a super crazy popular level, but I looked it up and it only has like, hold on. Okay, let me open up my thing. Like, it has... Oh, that's me. It has, like, 14k views, 80k views. Riot's got 100k, 30k. Like, I thought this level was, like, super popular, but none of the videos even have over 200,000 views. Which, I mean, that's still a lot, but, like, I thought Lunatic Doom Machine was, like, a viral huge level in 1.9. But it's not. So, uh, this, you guys might not know what this level is, but it's, I'm gonna show you. I think you're gonna like it. So I'ma just do an attempt, just fresh off the boat. Let's do it, Lunatic Doom Machine. The funny thing about this level is, it starts off as like a seven star level. It's like dumb easy. And then suddenly it's like the hardest click of your life. <laughs> this level is severely unbalanced. Like it constantly flip flops between like a seven star harder level and like a high tier extreme demon. So I practiced this already. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. No! <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what? Alright, I'll take that, I guess. Got 39%. No biggie. This is not Zodiac. This is Lunatic Doom Machine. The spike in the yellow orb. I don't even know, bro. But yeah, now this level is super cool. Although it's so unbalanced. But like, if you want to get better at ship, this is the level to do that. And I guess ball too, because for some reason, all the ball parts in this level are like really hard. This click specifically, this 11% click, too early. If you hit it like slightly too early, you will land like on the corner of this platform. And like, I I'm not doing it right now. I guess I'm just too, I see, I just did it. But otherwise, if you do it a little too late, like even though it looks like you're great, you, you hit that spike then. It's really, really annoying. It's like literally a frame perfect, just chilling at 11% in this level. Wait, this level, this part's just like a ton of buffer clicks. It's kind of awkward. And these little four medium spikes are not fun. They're just awkward. And then we have the first of like three really hard ship parts. Like this level is great if you want to get better at the ship game mode. Like there's a lot of like straight fly and like ship control. Like you really need to know how to control the ship. Mini, full size, upside down, everything. And then this part again, it's just another weirdly hard ball part. And then a, like a two star UFO. And then like an extreme demon wave. <laughs> Yeah, this wave is short, but it's really hard. But, and it's weird, too, because it doesn't look that bad, but there's, like, these invisible slopes everywhere that, like, make it harder. 
so it's like a one block space wave triple speed. But I must say it's satisfying. If I could actually get through it. This is gonna be a freaking hard choke point. I, I already know that. I'm definitely gonna be dying here. Spoiler warning. I, mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to give a spoiler when I'm live, but <laughs> you get it. And it's like hard, it's like weirdly awkward spam. And then you have to somehow transition into that ship portal without like screwing up the gravity. It's really annoying. Then memory. That part's pretty, it's, that, that part's just basically death moon and so is this part. And then this! This ship is so freaking hard, I still haven't got past it, like, in a run. So I was trying to, like, practice the end of the level, and it, it just it wasn't working out, right? It wasn't working out, let's just say that. Like, this straight fly is so hard, because you go upside down, normal gravity, then you flip again, but this time you're full size, and you have to, like, straight fly differently. And then it happens again, and then there's this really awkward wave transition, where if I let go, I somehow hit that. So I have to like micro click and then like make it. And then it's this bleeding part's not too bad. It's like something stupid I'd probably mess up though, not me. And then this is just auto, you just have to get in. But yeah, that's Lunatic Doom Machine! Let's try to beat it today. Let's just do some runs from zero and see how far I can get. I somehow got 39 already. That was luck. But that's what's cool about this level. It's really short, and although it's really unbalanced, you have like a decent chance of like getting really good runs. And the song is like the song is the main reason I want to beat this level so bad. Like I've always wanted to beat this, but I never thought I'd be able to. But now that I beat Stereo Extremeness, like I'm pretty sure I can beat this. <laughs> Might just be a little, a little tough, a little annoying. But this level's cool. I think it's one of my favorite Hell levels. That ship is just so, like you have to like, you can't go up too far, you'll hit like a million spikes and saw blades. But you have to like go up enough to where you could like arch back down into the mirror portal. It's really awkward. But yeah, it starts off super easy. Except this click. That one's hard. But really not that much so. Especially when you have clicks like that. <laughs> Nader Ali, thank you for the five AEDs. And Disturbed Zero, man, thank you for the good luck. I love the puffer fish emojis, my guy. Thank you for the dono. How, the, how did I just die to that? That's like... That, you could put that in a two-star level, and it would be fine. Yeah, that 11% ball click, bro. I wouldn't wish it upon it. Worst enemy. Actually, yeah, I would. No, I'd make a level with, like, 100 of those and make my worst enemy do it. Yeah, that ball click right there is so hard. It's like straight out of Bloodbath. This level does remind me of like Bloodbath and Cataclysm though. It's just like that era of 1.9 like really hard levels. But this one's not like as hard as Cataclysm or anything. But it's definitely up there. Like this level's misleading. You you like it starts off with a super easy part, and you're like, oh, I feel like I could beat this. Like, anybody in chat right now, I don't care how good you are at the game, you could definitely get at least to this ball part if you did, like, a couple attempts. Even one attempt. The only challenging click is, like, this right here at 7%. But this level, it's just misleading. Like, you think it gives you a false sense of security. Like, it's easy, and then really hard, and you're like, okay, I got past the hard part. Then it's easy again. But, oh, no, now it's super hard again. 
Like, there's so many curveballs. And then at, like, 60%, it's, like, dumb easy. And then the hardest shit part of your life comes up. Oh, nards. <laughs> Disturbed, thank you for the more CZKs. I don't know what currency that is, but I appreciate that, brother. By the way, does my mic sound good, everybody in chat? Oh, that click's gonna make me rage. Does my microphone sound good? And like, does the stream look good? Let me know in chat, yes or no. Oh, I not mean to do that. Wait, you know what, let me do... There we go. I'm telling you, bro, that click, <laughs> that click is so dumb. I think it might, like, it, le it might legitimately be a frame perfect. I don't know. Or, like, at least pretty darn close to it. That ball, bro. Like, although this is definitely a ship-based level, like, in terms of skill, the ball parts will really get you if you're not paying attention. And now that, like, that, those little series of clicks are just so awkward, like... I never expected the ball parts to give me so much struggle, like, that's... When you think of like when you think of like hard game modes, you think of like wave and ship. Maybe cube. Maybe robot if you play stereo extremeness. But like ball is not one of those game modes you think of when you think of like an insane or extreme D. What did I even just do? <laughs> I legitimately don't know what just happened. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Gypsoni, what up? Five nights at Freddy's. <laughs> See, like that time I clicked too late to go up. And although I did manage to like do it right, I was just a little smidgen too late for the level, and I died. Man, get that saw blade out of my face, bro. Why would you even put- like, if that saw blade wasn't there, that part would be so much better. <laughs> I don't know what they were cooking back then when they made this level. Like, I think this originally was, like, impossible, and then they nerfed it for some reason, but, like, it feels like they only nerfed some parts, because, like, it randomly gets, like, impossible sometimes. But yeah, this song, bro, the song carries. I wouldn't say carries, I like this level. It's, it's a snazzy, cool looking level. I just, I don't know why, I just really like this level. It's so cool. Yo, Disturbed, welcome to the Vortrox Club. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel, bro. I appreciate it. mess up that actually felt like a nice <laughs> like I felt like I was getting through that nice and then I just died that's what these hard levels do to you man bro 
again? Why do I keep messing that up? I gotta just, like, not. Because there's two options in that part. You rather do hit the yellow orb, and you'll be fine, but you just gotta do it early. Or you don't hit the yellow orb, and you, like, wait really late to jump into the UFO portal. <laughs> That's such a dumb, dumb place to die. I might do actually I might do some like I might put a start position and just like I want to just practice I already got a copy but I want to practice Can I like do I have a start position yeah I gotta practice this part like no I gotta stop doing that I don't know why my muscle memory is to like just go in between the two only two spots I can go I could definitely do this. It's just a lot of choke points, you know? Never back down. Never what? The wave part wouldn't be so bad if, like, the decoration made sense, but they, like, decorated it and made it, like, a lot of, like, invisible slopes around a solid block, so, like, it looks like you have more space than you actually do. It's weird. Like, if you actually play this level and go into practice mode and just look at it, you're, like, you look at it and you're like, bro, what? Like, why is it like that? I guess it's part of the difficulty, though. You can't really see what's happening. I gotta stop doing that, bro. I'm not hitting the yellow orb. I'm not hitting the yellow orb. I gotta get it through my thick skull. And what is this text supposed to say? Get ready to... Get ready to... Die. It's probably, like, censored. It's a new machine about Andromeda and Optogonus. No, I gotta stop doing that. I'm not hitting that orb. Originally, I did hit that orb, but I found out you don't have to. So I watched Nexus complete this. And see, if you like go down in the wave, your entire ship thinks it's a wave and just like falls down with it. It's really annoying. develop a click pattern for that spam right there because it's just I don't know like what to do like I just kind of just click through it and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't it's like one of those chat beat this level yo base to owner bro thank you for the 10 new zealand dollars i think that's what that is thank you brother i appreciate that 100 attempts on bloodbath i would do that but i'm saving myself for bloodbath because i'm gonna let you all in on a little secret you 300 here 
I haven't said this anywhere else, but I think that for my next Extreme Demon, I want to try to be Bloodbath. So you guys got to keep that hush. It's a secret. Because now that I beat Stereo Extremeness, I'm trying to, like, just practice a bunch of other stuff to see, like, how hard it is. And everybody's saying Stereo Extremeness is harder than Bloodbath, harder than Sukup in Hell, harder than Devil Vortex. And definitely harder than Cataclysm. So, like, if I beat Stare Extremeness, I mean, I could probably beat Bloodbath, right? It's probably gonna be really hard, but I ha I practiced Cataclysm, Devil Vortex, and Sukup and Hell. Of those, I think Sukup and Hell sucked the most. I would never want to beat that. But I have not tried Bloodbath yet. I have not tried Bloodbath yet because I want to, like, save it and record myself, like, practicing it. Because I have not... I played a level a ton back then when I was little because I wanted to try to beat it. But, like, obviously, I was never doing that back then. But now I beat Stereo Extremeness, so like I think I could realistically maybe beat Bloodbath. I'm gonna go for it next year. But right now I'm just trying to have fun and play some uh, insane demons. So I've only beaten one insane demon. But I think I got a decent skill boost from Stereo Extremeness. To where I can play these levels now. Pretty darn cool. This ship is impossible, bro. That was a good run, though. 30 to 70. I need to get through this ship, though. It is so, like, like, bro, this is, like, you could put this in, like, Bloodbath or Cataclysm, and it'd fit right in. It is so hard. But I would, I would honestly recommend this level to anybody trying to become better at the ship. Like, this is great practice. It's every type of ship gameplay all in one. You got orbs, you got tons of gravity changes, size changes, straight fly control. And this, like, little 80 to 87 straight fly barrel. Oh my. Like, it's so awkward. Like, straight flying as the mini in the full size is such a different experience. Like, it's just like, it throws me off every time. You gotta, like, rapid fire your, like, muscle memory into straight flying in them. Like, this is great practice, bro. I'm, I'm happy I'm doing this. I'll be ready for Bloodbath when I go for it one day. But yeah, November, December, I just want to focus on making 2.2 videos and stuff like that. But next year, I'm gonna try to beat Bloodbath. That's my goal. Knowing me, it's probably gonna take, like, freaking 100,000 attempts. Nah, I, I would say like 20 to 30k. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, if I died there from zero, I would lose my mind. I would actually lose my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm going for some classic uh, 1.9 insane demons. This being one of them. I also want to beat like... Edo by Zobros. Wow, I got through the ship twice. Okay. I cannot mess this up, though. The way I would freak... If I died... <laughs> if I died there, I'd legitimately lose my marbles. Wow. Why am I suddenly, like, consistent... I just got through the ship three times. Okay. Let me uh, practice this ball again. So I gotta get good at the wave part. There's only one wave part in this level, but it's really hard.
a star position closer to the wave. Like, what this wave part's not even long. It's just hard. I'll just put a star position, like, right here. This wave, though, when you do get through it, it is so satisfying. Like, I wish there was more wave in this level, because you just know it would be some banger, satisfying gameplay. By the way, for those of you wondering, if I beat this level, which I think I will, it'll be my second hardest level ever. Right behind Stereo Extremis. A little bit of a difficulty gap there. So many inputs, my fingers are like, ugh. The slaughterhouse nachos. I will. I will one day. Tried? What up, tried? I just saw your message now. Yo, Veggie, thank you for the three Canadian dollars. Stereo extremeness? I don't know if it would place on the list, but some people say if it did, it would be like low extended list. But I think it's not quite there, but it's freaking close. But try it, if you're still watching this, this level is really unbalanced, but it's so satisfying. Like, it's, this is like one of the only insane demons I've like always wanted to be. I don't know why, it's just so awesome. Try it, you should, I don't know if you've done this yet, but you should totally make a video on this. You gotta like, bring this level back. Cause I thought it was more popular, but the most viewed video of this has like 170,000 views and eight years old. We gotta like bring a lunatic doom machine resurgence back. We gotta get we gotta just get every Geom Trash YouTuber to randomly play this level. Don't let me die at that ball part from zero. Why'd I go up, bro? Am I dumb, stupid? <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of funny, though? <laughs> if we had, like, an industry plant geometry dash level. <laughs> like, everybody, we just, like, congregate and all randomly upload videos about the same demon. And just, like, don't even speak of it. Like, some random level is not even that popular, but, like, you know, you know? Boon Machine? Sound Boon Machine. I've never heard that one. You try it. You might like it. It's great ship practice. Like, this part right... Wait. This ship is so weird because you have to go upside down, normal, mini, large. Like, all within, like, ten seconds. Like, it's... You gotta, like, really be able to, like, just flip instantly, like, your type of straight fly you're doing. And your ship control. Like, this is amazing ship practice. So hard, though. Especially for how late it is in the level. I mean, it's a medium level, so it's pretty... You have a pretty good chance of getting here from zero, but it's still... I imagine this would be frustrating. What? 
Actually, what did I just die to? I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> yeah, I tried. We totally should. We gotta, we gotta think of what it is. I'll DM you later. We gotta discuss this. I mean, it could be Lunatic Doom Machine. I think it's a cool level that serves as good practice for ship in like four seconds of wave. And ball. There's a lot of weirdly hard ball parts in this. I don't know why. I don't know what's the deal with that. But it's the song in this level that makes it stick out for me. Like, it's like 8-bit, like, awesome remix. I love it. If this had, like, At the Speed of Light, I don't think anybody would care about it. It'd just be another Hell Demon. Dang it, man. This wave part stresses me out. You have to like do a little micro click when you transition into it. I don't know if it's a refresh rate thing, but it's so like awkward. And I keep messing it up, bro. I don't like that, bro. I don't want to die there from zero. The way I'll freak out. The way I will freak out if I get through this super crazy hard ship part and then die at that wave. Alright, you guys think I should play from zero? Or should I do some more uh, practice? Screw it. Let's play from zero. Y'all think I should play from zero. Yeah, bro, so Coop and Hell, I did a practice run of this. It's so unfun. I would, like, I don't know if I'll ever want to beat that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Cataclysm was alright. Kid Smoke, I'm gonna beat this eventually. I'm gonna stream that in the future. This level, I thought it was more popular, but it doesn't even have 100,000 downloads, so I'm gonna put y'all onto this level. It's freaking awesome. And this doesn't even have a mil. I mean, a million is a lot of downloads for a level. But I thought this level had like 10 million, like it was a super popular level. But it appears I was mistaken. Those four medium spikes, I don't know what Andromeda and Optagonris were cooking when they built that. <laughs> Some of the most awkward gameplay I've ever played. That's it, that was just four medium spikes in a four block space. I could do it. Up. that's not even hard the ball part's weird it's just like a ton of buffer clicks and then like one absurdly hard timing that transition bruh that ball part right there so hard and for what and for what nothing nothing go uh i'm gonna say like if i get to the ufo part so what is that 40 percent if i get to 40 percent spam go
Bro, you gotta hit those orbs so late. They're <laughs> so weird. Fitzgerald. This level would be ten times better if I had a Fitzgerald. I should remake this level and then just, like, throw a Fitzgerald in. I would love to make, like, an old, like, a hell-themed level. Like, with, like, the 1.9 style. But, like, with, like, more modern decoration. Like, with the skills creators have today. So, yeah, I don't really like remakes, because I feel like people remake levels all the time. And they end up just, like, being forgettable. But, like, admit it. A Lunatic Doom Machine remix would go kind of hard. But if I remade, if I made, if I hosted a remake of Lunatic Doom Machine, I would definitely balance the level. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I would keep the beginning easy just for fun. So people could, like, everybody could just play and at least get a little taste of what it's like. Like a little sliver of the pie. Then you get the 10% and it becomes super hard again. And I'll keep it hard. record. Ah! Oh, of course I screwed up the transition. I'm not even surprised. 54 though, okay. We got halfway. We're halfway through. Not even surprised I died there. That ball is just... Woo!
Jeez, bro. Just let me get through that. You know, I'm just... I want to take this to uh, practice. I want to just, like, get that part into my brain. I need to learn how to do that transition properly too, bro. Why is this level so unbalanced? Right? <laughs> one death equals one nerf with this level. Nah, it's not hard enough to work to doing that. I'm like seriously thinking though, like I feel like I can make a banger remake. Cause I, could, I like hosting Mega Collabs a lot. And I could totally, I'd like redo the gameplay a little bit. Find out a different name. And then just like me and the boys will decorate this and make it look incredible. Like it's already cool, but like it's definitely very 1.9 hell theme. Like there's nothing particularly special about this. Dude, I hate that transition. That if, see, see if I remade this, that transition would be fixed. Oh no, bullcrap. What creators would you guys like to see redecorate this? Like with some revamped gameplay. I'd probably buff it to an extreme demon to be honest. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I'd keep it insane. I don't know. Boxy Cat. Jayla Snake, thank you for the $10. Hydrate. That's a great idea. Nice. Yeah, I'll be checking out. I think I'm going to do a level request stream sometime soon. Wolsey would probably go hard. CD music. Yeah. You know what I was thinking the other day? How cool would it be? If I found every, like, old creator who made a part of Bloodbath and got them all together and we all made a new level. That'd be hard to do because a lot of those creators are, like, literally in their 20s and don't even play John Trash, like, at all. But, like, you know, that would be so cool. You know what? I don't know if that would work out. Michigan, man. That's sad, man. Rest in peace. But yeah, another thing I would do with this level is extend it. It's, all, it's medium for some reason. I'm pretty sure the song keeps going after the end. So I'm not sure why this level is only 50 seconds long. Let's see. Yeah, see, the song's still going. I can totally extend this. 
think about it. I'll think. I, I mean, if two point two wasn't coming out, heck, I could work on this soon. But that'll kind of make it from kind of make it weird. Oh, Leaf, thank you for the dono. Wrong copy paste. What? <laughs> Is that a uh, Walter White's address? What the heck? <laughs> I feel like Nuke IIX would make a hard part in this. He's like makes some of the best designs in the community. Not bad. Jeez, man. Bro, why would you even just put this like randomly in the middle of the level?
All right, I'll just play from zero. I feel like I have a chance of fluke in this. Like, it's such a short level, you, you that definitely can happen. So, let's find out. Let's play from zero. Have any of you guys in chat tried out Stereo Extremeness yet? As of right now, I know of three victors. The first of which being Esoteric Hydra. The second of which being this guy named Hover. I just saw that today, but he did it like three days ago already somehow. And the third victor I know of is Nexus. However, he only got two coins, so I don't know. You guys played it. Anybody get past like 6%? <laughs> Who is my YouTube rival? I don't know. We're all kind of friends. There's only like two people I don't like, but I don't even want to give them a shout out, so screw them. Miss that orb, that's actually just embarrassing. Ah. 
A moment. Oh my gourd! Oh my gourd! Happy Halloween! Grrr! ball why would you even do such a thing and why did I die at 7% like this part is literally bro you could put this part in like a six star level and it would pass by and that you could put in freaking Acheron and it would pass by oh my god <laughs> Mad, bro. I keep this level is so unbalanced. Like, what is that? Who made that click? Like, 
how do you make that? And you're like, yeah, this seems fine. But this seems fine after a six star. Like, at least buff the beginning so I don't feel, like, angry. Like, at least I know, like, okay, the beginning's pretty hard and I died to another hard part. It's just how it is. But now I'm, like, I'm getting through, like, a six star harder level. And then it's, like, suddenly extreme demon and then, like, back to insane demon. And then back to, like, challenge gameplay. Then back to insane demon. Then down to easy demon. Like, who... Like, what were they thinking when they balanced this, bro? This is just one of those things where, like, it was probably hack verified back then, and now it's just trash. Somebody said get a new best on Avernus. I actually want to try that. <laughs> I don't know if I've even played it, so this might not be hard. All right. I just got to get 2%, and then I'll have a new record. Let's see. Bro. I can see why nobody's beat this yet. This level sucks. I can't believe it's our new top one. Right, right? It is. Well, they still have Akron above, but I'm pretty sure Avernus is number one now. It especially sucks because, like, your ship is, like, moving into place, so it's, like, not ready. Bro, well, I need to get 2% to make this guy happy. Let me just... I want to see the hitboxes on this. Are they as bad as... Oh, my God, bro. The hitbox is going out of the spike. Why would... Z Zoink, why would you do this? This is why you haven't beat Stereo Extremeness yet, pal. Now, but Zoink got 70% on Stereo Extremeness. He's probably going to beat it, like, soon. Because it's Zoink. He's... Stereo extremeness is nothing to him. Bro, when do when do I get the two percent? Cause like are you telling me I have to go all the way to that orb, bro? Are you kidding? This is too hard for that. I'm not trying to do all that. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> That was horrible. I'm already unhappy. How did? Why would you ever play something like that? Like that's just torture, bro. Lord have mercy. I already beat Deadlocked. Why do you guys want me to play that? Let's play Peak. Not that Deadlock does not peak. Deadlock is awesome. Best best Rob top level in my opinion. But we'll see how my opinion changes when Dash comes out and when Explorers comes out. I don't like the Explorers song, but if there really is a boss fight like there's rumors of, that level is probably going to be freaking awesome. Because like at the end of the 2.2 sneak peek, with explorers there's like a robot face that comes in as if it's about to be a boss fight but then he pauses it turn myself into a grenade and throw myself at this level. What, what even just happened? 
I did like a little, a little tiny click to like correct my ship fine line, my ship flying, and then my ship just like flew up. I have such mixed feelings about the ship game mode, I'm being honest. Like, I guess it's kind of cool because you fly around, but like, it's also like... I feel like it's hard to make fun ship gameplay. I shouldn't say that, I don't know. This level does a pretty good job at it, for the most part. I guess it's hard to make ship gameplay that like, syncs to the song. You know? How did I die there? I didn't even know that was possible! Oh my lord, mercy, souls. Oh my god, bro, why? Like, why would you do that? I didn't even know those pop. Like, I got, oh, it's stuff like that that really grinds my gears. As you would know if you watched my Stereo Extremist video. Like, when you do get past that one really hard part, and then you die to something like dumb easy after that. It's like, why did that even happen? Is that really like lined up and and <laughs> I just don't get it. I keep dying to dumb things you don't know you could die to. And then you suddenly die there and you're like, well, I, I guess you could die there now. <laughs> oh my. I'm gonna kiss this level. You know, I'm not even gonna get mad I died there because that's like I'm not even gonna lie bro. That might be like the hardest part of the level I don't know Like that and the 11% mini ball click are like the most dumb things This click right here because you always mess it up like it's like a 70% chance of failure 30% chance you happen to click right and get past But like I don't mind it because it's so early on in the level to where it doesn't really matter so, you know, I died there, whatever. I gotta get through, like, six-star gameplay to get back. But when I died at 35% when it makes me mad, because I actually had to get through hard stuff to get there. And then, like, I know, like, after that, it doesn't get easier. Like, there's the hardest wave. Well, it's the only wave of the level, so of course it's the hardest, but... And then it's, like, easy again, and then you have the hardest ship of your entire life. Because that ship at the end, man, whew, it ain't no joke, I'll tell you that. See, now the issue is, I've died so much in the beginning, I, I'm not, like, warmed up with the little wave and ships. Now I gotta go back and do that. Like this wave, like I can't even call this like a wave level because the wave part's like five seconds long, but it's such a crucial part of the level. Like it's so hard and it's like smack dab in the middle of everything.
and then the transition out of it. I forgot about that, bro. Well, that's why I'm record 54. It's levels like this that make me happy I use green icons. Because <laughs> the green really stands out against all the red. I'm like ready for any hell level because I can actually see my icons. This click right here is literally like a half click space. Or like a half block space. But it doesn't even look like it because like the slopes like it. Ugh. So this level is just awkward sometimes. And awkwardness, when it comes to like insane and extreme demons, awkwardness translates to difficulty. I mean, I guess for any level it would, really. Why did I let go? Tell me, somebody tell me in chat, why did I just let go? I'm obviously not supposed to. Clearly somebody did not beat Can't Let Go by Rob Top. Kill! GD, thank you for the three dollars. There you go, I said your name. <laughs> Check chat why. <laughs> why is there just a picture of me? <laughs> Do y'all want to join the Discord? My Discord is in the description of the video. Or you can just type in Discord 
gg slash gd news. Because we post all 2.2 news, demon news, and community news. It is quite awesome. So like, erg. Now I'm seeing. Yes, aquatic one two three. So true. Consistency though. Let me not die. Let me not die. Bro, that's not even funny. I I'm not even laughing at that, bro. That's not even funny. <laughs> bro, imagine I died there from zero. Yeah, I, know. I love this level because it just randomly turns into Death Moon. Yo, that wasn't even funny, dog. That's not good. 40 to 97? That's not good at all. <laughs> oh no. Let me practice this ball. <laughs> I hate that transition! Oh, 
Oh my gourd. I know I can do this, bro. I know I can do this. I'm playing from zero. Oh, not the balls. What the heck, man? God, bro, who made this level? Why did, bro, why did and Sir Gulster and Andromeda and the other guy decide this is okay? Hexanagonis or whatever.
ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നുള്ളു likes and I'll go bald I did not say that you took words out of my mouth or out of the air and putting them in my mouth I was thinking because I know a lot of people ask if I'm gonna decorate buff on track and I don't really know right now because thing is I do not like back on track if I'm being honest like it's like the lamest Rob top level like it's bottom bottom one for me and because it's such a boring level I had to do like a bunch of really weird things to like actually make it like exciting in the buffed version I made which I guess kind of give it charm, but it's also just kind of random. However, I do think that the freaking ship part, which I converted into mini wave spam, that would like, it's so fun to play. Let me just open it real quick. I just want to play it real quick because it's so satisfying. Yeah, like this whole wave I made. I feel like I would not mind trying to verify this. This is cool. And you know people would go crazy for this too. Cause it's freaking cool, man. It's back on track, a buff, but mini wave spam. How is that not cool? Let me, uh... Are you my... Real quick, somebody told me there was a setting that makes you respawn faster in practice mode. I did not know about that. 
Yes, I, I didn't know that was an option. That's just what I needed. So let me search up buff on. Oh, that's so much better. Yes. Oh, like, come on, this is awesome. Hard of the straight fly is. Let me try it like not in speed hack. Can I even get through this? I can, but it's quite hard. Easier than stereo screen, that's for sure. What do you guys think? Should I decorate buff on track? Or should, would I be better off skipping to like extreme guys? Which is way cooler in my opinion. Hard straight fly though, wow. Man. <laughs> Buffed clutter funk. That's not gonna be for a while. But yeah, thank you for everybody tuned into the stream. I'm going to take a little break. I'll probably stream tomorrow. I think I'm pr I could beat Lunatic Doom Machine soon. I just want to, I don't want to like overdo it and then get frustrated because I already got pretty mad, which I'm at on. It's funny, but I'm, I just want to chill right now. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning into this little stream. You guys are super cool. This isn't even like a trendy type stream. Like you got to just 